Hello everyone, welcome once again. So today we will start the next video. Okay. So let's quickly move to the content. So today we will discuss about joint drive system. Joint drive system. So actually how to move the joints. Okay, as you have seen that uh, robot manipulator generally uses three types of three types of joints. Uh, that one was hmm, rotational, second one was twisting, and third one was revolving. And two types of translation translational joint, uh, namely linear <coughs> Nam namely linear and orthogonal L and O type so <coughs> how to uh, move the joints so to get the desired position of rotic arm we need to move the joints where the two links are connected okay so how to move those joints it means when we say when I say move the joints it means we are going to like we are going to control the moment if there, there is a joint this one then how how to move this joint so that this part can be positioned at required place okay so when I say moving the joint, it means we are controlling the robotic arms by the move, movement in the joints. Okay, it is maybe I hope it is clear to you. Then we class uh, there are three types of joints that is used in the robotics. First one is electric, the hydraulic, and then pneumatic. Okay, so this one joint drive system is, is used to position and as well as speed so, uh, is used with position position sensors and with speed sensor and we use also uh, we use also feedback control system for the dynamic response characteristic characteristic of the robot okay so if we have to move the uh, row end of the robotic arm at some place at what speed and it should be uh, right at the desired location how we are going to control it we are going to do it by the various sensors combinations of sensors only one sensor is not required combinations of combinations of sensors are required okay so in technical features okay in technical features uh, Physical configuration of the robot, size, limit of its arm, and joint manipulators define the work volume of the robot. It is work volume or work envelope. Then precision movement related to spatial resolution, accuracy, repeatability, speed of the movement, weight carrying capacity comes under the precision movement. Each factor def uh, affects the location of the robotic arm and speed of the robotic arm and uh, precision of the robotic arm okay then we have the types of drive system in joints uh, like electric pneumatic and hydraulic okay then Now for this robot, this one is horizontal speed in horizontal and this one is horizontal plane. Okay. And this one is vertical plane. So in horizontal plane, it can cover this much. Okay. This one is maximum envelope. But in so moment of the robot, we can't we, we need to set the limit for the robotic arm so this one is starting and in position if it is that is the limit for the robotic arm it means we <coughs> set the limit that we don't need this much and this much of his space because we don't want the movement of the robotic arm because the more robotic arm moves 
it will take more time and what be what is the end effect here you will lose productive uh, productivity time or you say production time so that's why the uh, robotic arms movements are restricted so it is our uh, restricted envelope okay this one then this one operating envelope you need sometimes only this much of this much of distance for the operation okay so robotic arm movements is confined in that region so for that reason it is called operating operating envelope now see if this one is in horizontal plane parallel to horizontal plane okay this one is in vertical plane this one is maximum envelope robotic arm can go from top to this height okay but sometimes uh, uh, we restrict the movement only up to like this that we don't need that much of space to move the robotic arm and for our working it is limited uh, for a particular see for our working only this much of space is enough okay this much that marked in the black this one marked in the black that is our working or uh, operating envelope okay so in next slide so motion speed and stability what is how do we define motion speed we define the motion speed by absolute velocity of the manipulator at at its end of the arm like where we attach the robotic arm okay where we attach the robotic arm that is called uh, end of the manipulator so that we de define the absolute velocity and based on that uh, we define the motion speed of the robotic arm okay <clears throat> next maximum speed uh, for large robot it is generally 2 meter per second for large robot then again speed can be programmed into work cycle it means what is work cycle it means you have to pick the part from here you have to take it up to this side then you have to put transfer it here then you have to put it here somewhere okay so this is your work cycle again robot will come here so when it is taking the part from here at one and putting it at location 2 so like robotic arm reaches is reaches near to part of some distance then grasp it then put it up uh, some distance then take it transfer it either this way or some other way okay that we will discuss in coming slides so we transfer here again it place here or it directly transfer here how it is going to transfer we will discuss and then putting it here so each step motion of the robotic arm the speed of the robotic arm at in each step affects the motion speed okay so for that cycle we can program we can increase or decrease for a particular step we can increase or decrease the speed in in a work cycle for say for step 1 we can increase the speed step 2 when robot is ideal say for example when robot is ideal we can and uh, design the robot to move at maximum speed when robot is carrying a part lighter part then some re somewhat uh, reduced speed but more than the every higher higher side but when the robot is carrying the heavy parts so we cannot use heavy uh, faster speed so we we need to use it slower speed that is called 
स्पीड प्रोग्रामिंग इन वर्क साइकिल देन वी हैव एसिलेशन एंड डिसलेशन इन कंट्रोल में ना इट मीन्स एसिलेशन एंड डिसलेशन इन कंट्रोल में ना इट मीन्स इफ द रोबोटिक आर्म इज मूविंग ओके सो हाउ we can control it because if the robotic arm has to go from here to this place so obviously it cannot go directly it will first start accelerate and after some time it will start decelerating so that is important factor in controlling the robotic arm okay other factors includes uh, like weight or mass it of the object and location and precision where it is put going to put uh that is all included in speed of response that is the time required for the manipulator to move from one point to space to the next so ultimately everything is uh, like i have discussed this point so everything is under the speed of response okay then if the speed of response affects the robot cycle time and obviously if robot cycle time it means if in one cycle robot taking is longer time it will affect the it will produce less parts or okay so production rate will decrease that's why we can we need to program uh, the speed in different steps of work cycle okay then again motion stability the amount of overshoot and oscillation that occurs in robot motion at the end of the arms arm as it attempts to move the next program location so when robot moves from here to here okay say here from one place this one from here to here so if the uh, very uh, robot is very uh, high stability it means it will move slower okay if you have designed a low stability that means then robot can move at higher speed but there would be more oscillation but when you have designed at high stability then robot will response will be slow a uh, high response and slow is we can uh, understand it this way like if you have designed your robot response is high that means robot will quickly move but precision precision would be less if the uh, response is slow that means it will achieve, achieve the higher precision but it will take some time more time in comparison to previous one okay next uh, load carrying capacity load carrying capacity as you know uh, based on the robot physical size and construction okay so force and power that can be transmitted by to the end of the wrist here this one is wrist this one is the wrist okay so here what you are going to attach dip uh, affects the load carrying capacity if this one is uh, rest is uh, uh, having higher weight that means you can uh, transfer less weight okay it can handle less weight so for uh, commercial robot it is uh, weight is uh, generally we carry the weight 1 kg 1 kg to 12 100 kg and for medium size industrial application it is generally 60 to or oh, 10 to 60 kg okay then one important factor that is robot works with the tool or gripper attached to its wrist it means like i told you that we use gripper or here this one is end factor okay so we need to count the weight of this in defector also because robots are designed with this 
up to the manipulator length so if this one is like in this particular example if we, we have designed for the 10 kg weight, mm, weight of the gripper that means if the gripper weight is 4 kg then and we have designed for maximum 10 kg then and gripper weight is 4 kg then we can carry only 6 kg of the weight by this gripper it means higher the weight of the gripper lower the load carrying capacity under the design limit okay now sensors in robotics uh, there are mainly two sensors are used in robotics first one is internal you know, major classification we can classify sensors in two way internal external sensors so in internal external sensor position and velocity sensors can be used and not can be used position and velocity sensors are used and generally for position sensor potentiometer and velocity center optical encoder is used as well as position so it can be also used oh for position sensor this one potentiometer and optical encoder are used and for velocity sensor tachometer is used okay that is used to control the speed of the arm and in external sensor uh, external sensor work with the coordination with the other equipment okay we will see in coming slide so here you see different types of robotic sensor that are used in positioning system this one is a typical example of potentiometer uh, these are used in the robotics industrial robotics and this one is optical encoder you see it is used to determine the position obviously uh, which type of feedback we use here close loop okay then robotic uh, external sensor or now uh, tachometer is used to control the speed of the because uh, speed of the robotic arm so now under the robotic external sensor we have vision sensor tactile sensor proximity sensor optical sensor and wise sensor we will see one by one so vision sensor or machine vision sensor you see this one we have high vision camera this one again camera so here again camera is there so again there is some software processing software we use it and that software will generate some command and it uses to identify the, identify the parts and once parts are identified commands are generated for the robotic arm so generally cameras is important in main component and another one is processing software we will see in after a few slides once again then what type of application here uh, vision sensors can be used to identify the present, uh, presence or absence of an object okay so following kinds of operations are carried out retrieving the parts which are randomly oriented on the convert on the conven conveyor so part can be if the part is not properly oriented then part can be taken back then recognize particular pans which are intermixed with other object it means in a lot there are various objects and there are you have to sort it that vision sensor can be used and perform visual inspection and vision guided robot can be used for the machine vision sensor okay now you see here robot is robot is there so robotic robotic arms are working okay so they are preparing a robot 
can you guess the this image i have taken this image from a popular movie avenger age of ultron where uh, jarvis is making a robot okay and when ultron was being made here by robotic arm so at the end you know what happened so in vision sensor now see high very high digital camera or say high megapixel camera this one is from is the design of the iron man cameras okay so you see what is written here 345 okay two times zoom here in iron camera it can measure the distance 345 meter this one it can measure the distance like this so that is the technology iron man using in vision what about this <laughs> vision is for standing against the ultron vision is uh, teaching the concept of life error and positive side of negative and positive side of human life okay so although i am discussing vision sensor just for information that his name is vision is used in the movie and as you know he was able to tell that one in 14 million iterations only one time the iron man team is able to win and in next movie what we have seen so next we are having the tactile sensor so tactile sensor provide the robot with the capability to respond to contact forces there are contact forces or touch okay so these are the here you see sensors at the end of the gripper sensors are there okay a small form now you see if the there is any contact is made the signal is generated okay and and robotic arm respond to the to that signal so contact and tactile sensor are two types touch sensor and force sensor touch sensors uh, mainly tells us that uh, a contact has been made like this one and uh, if there is a sensor on my finger okay so if i am as soon as i i am touching it it will generate a signal that contact ha contact has been made okay and in the force sensors generally used to measure the uh, required amount of force so say you need to grasp it like uh, 0.5 newton force to pick it up a article so gripper will collect it and it keep applying the force until the end effector uh, reads the 5 0.5 newton force so as soon as the 0.5 newton force reaches here here okay then computer generates next signal and robotic arm moves that is called force force sensor so strain gauges are used for for sensors so it is particularly useful in inspection touching sensing would be useful in gauging operation and dimension measure, measuring devices activities potential uses of robot to be tactile sensor capability would be in assembly and inspection operations we can use it is used then now for the tactile sensor you can understand here they are under the cover different sensors are there okay and there is sensor in the form of transducers so when you touch this sensing element and due to wiring this one is flexing flexible element okay 
again this way this way this can be used to measure the force as well as uh, identify the contact has been made okay so for particle if your objective is only to touch sensor that means you are not going to measure it it is quite easy for you if your objective is to measure the force then you have to design according or you have to use it as per your requirement then proximity sensors uh, are used to sense when one when object when one object is close to the another object on robot on a robot the proximity sensor would be located on or near the in defector obviously at near to the in defector we use proximity sensor it means uh, an object has been identified okay but when the proximity sensor is used okay to measure the distance between object and end of the robotic arm or say uh, in defector that becomes the range sensor so in particular case infrared proximity sensor is being used okay now we have optical sensor the optical sensor utilizes the photo cells and other photometric devices presents the absence of the object often used as a proximity sensor okay as i have discussed to proximity sensor is near the within the range of the proximity sensor okay now as you know why sensor robotic uh, robot robotic arm respond to the voice okay so we need to record the voice and based and voice programming is there okay <clears throat> so in voice programming we give oral communication of the command to the robot of the other machine okay robot control is equipped with the speech recognition system with the analyze the voice input and compares it with the set of stored word patterns okay when a match is formed between the input and the stored vocabulary word the robot performs some action and correspond to that what now you would be knowing this one is a this response it can talk with you asimo robot you would be familiar with this character not this character this robot very popular robot okay so this one is sofia citizen of saudi arabia yes citizen of saudi arabia she has she has been given a citizenship of saudi arabia <coughs> okay so sofia can talk with you can take the command okay then other sensors are temperature measurement in robotics fluid pressure fluid flow electrical voltage current sensor this can be used in the as per requirement so robot control systems consist of personal computer the robot controller is there then teach pendant where we this one used used to teach the robot and then robot manipulator for sensor or in attach here has been attached here vision sensor camera is there robot communicate with the robot controller again vision sensor communicate with the robot controller and with the teach pendant you can record the program in robot controller and ultimately you you generate the signal robot controller and that signal is stored in the personal computer and then those signal is used to play back for the perform perform the robotic manipulation okay so here input output Uh, program like i have discussed storage executive processor computation so joint 1 joint 2 joint 3 joint 4 joint 5 joints all joints goes through this program storage executive processor computation processor and after that input and output signals are generated
so this one teach pendant is for means of programming external feedback in the robot controller external commands comes in the robot controller then robot controller is there and power supply is there power supply is given to this robot manipulator then from robotic manipulator feedback comes and from robot controller commands goes from in controller we again get the feedback and again from based on that again to end effector feedback goes so ultimately we uh, control the motion or position of the in controller uh, i will discuss uh, this one in next video because video is getting longer so i am finishing here and thank you very much i hope you will like this video also Thank you.